Gotta get my little Christmas tree in there. Guys, I don't know what I want to say on my vlog. I'm still nervous. I have so much energy, but I don't want to be too much. Today, my friend, we are doing my vision board. I'm so flippin' excited for this because if you guys haven't seen my last video, I actually did a how to properly do your vision board because I've been doing it wrong for years and I had no idea. So we're doing the proper vision board today. We're doing it together. I'm so giddy right now. I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna go get some Starbies. We're gonna set the mood and then we're gonna do our vision board. The curls are curling. I've been obsessed with this Tula face cleanser. This cleanser makes my skin softer than any cleanser I've ever used. Here's the finished look. Feeling all party. I'm trying to find a place to show you guys my outfit because every part of my apartment's lighting is just bad besides my bathroom. Here's the fit. Don't mind the shower curtain. <laughs> Pants are ASOS. These are just some slippers. I'm just gonna slide on some shoes over them, but this is like what I'm gonna wear around the house. So the top is from a brand named Timing. I don't remember where I got this. It was so long ago. Necklace I got from TG Maxx. Earrings are a teeny luxe. And yeah, that's the fit. Let's go. So I truly have no idea what I'm gonna get and my anxiety will not let me go to the Starbucks without knowing what I want. Question of the day, what is your go-to Starbucks order? Leave it in the comments down below. I was getting the white chocolate mocha with pumpkin cold foam. It's too fall, you know? Oh, there's a person coming up, they don't need to go in here. Nope, okay, great. I could just do hot chocolate. Caramel brulee. I swear they changed the caramel brulees, but I haven't had one in a while. We might try the caramel brulee and give it a second chance or a third chance, see if they changed it back. Let's just do that because it's stressing me out. But could I do a tall caramel brulee? Uh, could I also do the roasted pepper egg white bites? Sure, egg white bites, what else? Yeah, that'll be it. <sighs> All right, let's do a quick little taste test. I'm dying to know if this actually tastes good or not. Did they bring it back? Wait, no, that tastes good. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. I swear the last few years I've had this, it tasted so bad, but this is so good. Maybe it's just like who made it. All right, next is egg white bites. These things are like drugs. They always have me coming back. Oh my god, it was so good. It's vision board time! Let me show you guys like what I got. I went to Walmart and I couldn't find a board that matched well with what I wanted. There was one that was just insanely big and then there was this size and there was no like in between. So I ended up going for this little square panel. There's actually four of them in here so you can do something like this. I don't wanna do that, I'm just gonna use one of them and just fill up this. So it's gonna be like a smaller vision board but I actually kind of like that. So I got this from Walmart and then here are my pictures. The amazing Catherine Manning recommended getting your pictures from Staples. I also recommend. Last time I did a vision board, I literally just printed them out on my printer and like the coloring was a little messed up, but they were all like cohesively messed up. So it worked out fine. But when I tell you, these look so good. Like the paper is like a nice quality, thicker paper. And what I did was I just took the photos that I wanted from Pinterest, downloaded them, went to Canva and kind of just made like a compilation of each page that I wanted. The total for all the pictures were $3.80. And then the bulletin board was $10.57. So total, this entire project cost me $14.37. I think it's worth it to have something throughout your entire year that you can look at and really just focus on. First thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna go through our little journal prompts. I had written mine on my phone since we're doing this together. Um, So I'm just gonna read you guys some of the questions and kind of like what my answers were and kind of just like how I'm seeing my 2024 
visually and what I want to do and things like that. Feel free to do this with me if you are wanting to. Oof. Okay, so if you watched my last video, you would have seen the Wheel of Life. This is what it looks like. This is just like a visual way you can look at different sections of your life and what you are happy with, which you're not so happy with, and ways to just kind of figure out what you want to focus on this year. You're going to choose three that you don't feel like you're happy with and you want to put a little bit more energy and focus on this year. So for me, that was career and work, personal growth and learning, and community. So after you choose your three, then you're going to pick three goals in each section to then work on. You guys are about to get super personal in my life. I'm so nervous. I'm about to tell you guys tea. This is like deep to be honest because this is like literally my life. Anyway, okay, so for career and work, my goal is to get 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I currently have 3,230. Also posting once a week on YouTube because my career in work is something that has the biggest gap. So that's why I wanna put most of my attention this year. Also, I wanna get a new acting agency. I've said that before. I don't know about on here. I've had my acting agency for a couple years now. I'm an actor. I've definitely said that. I'm, I just don't get auditions and it's a problem. It's an ongoing issue. So I almost got into one recently and they said they really like my work, but just like where I was located, there's just not a lot going on over here right now. So they want to be to try again later. Literally my location is holding me back from my dreams. So more on that later. <laughs> Personal growth and learning. I, ooh, <laughs> I have a pretty like big issue when it comes to like my brain and my memory and um, I'm really hard on myself about it. There's just like things that I should know and I've learned in the past and I forget. I mean, everybody forgets things, but like it just happens so much. I'm like, this is not right. I don't know. It's really bad. It's just something that like, instead of being the effect of it my entire life, I really want to start working on it. So I have three goals that I want to do this year to increase my knowledge. One is learning a new fact a week. It can be like for history, geography. I'm so bad at geography. Like somebody please send me a video that explains geography because I don't get it. Language, it could be just like new words, understanding that. Also like diseases and medical issues. Next is I wanna start journaling in the morning. Um, this is for personal growth. I have started doing like morning routines and it's helped a lot. Also just like sitting down and journaling about my day or literally anything. I don't like having a specific thing I'm journaling about every day. Also I learned from my last video that when you journal, it doesn't have to be sad. I always thought like, oh, I have an issue. Like I need to write it out and see it on paper. It can literally be happy. And when I did all of those prompts in the last video, I was just invigorated. Like I was so excited and so happy. I want to focus on journaling about happy things. Next is doing Sunday reset. That is going to be where I take a Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning. And obviously I want to clean my space because you guys see all the Sunday resets on TikTok. YouTube shorts, all of the things. But also I wanna sit down and like go through my 2024 goals for the year. And I wanna do my weeks like planning wise. So just like learning one new fact a week. On Sundays, I'm gonna figure out what that fact is and I'm gonna look at it every day when I journal in the morning. So just like little things like that to really refocus me every single Sunday, every single week. And then I wanna check in with myself with all of these goals in six months. Also like figuring out what my YouTube video for the week is gonna be and things like that. Last section of the Wheel of Life is community. I love Wilmington. It's such a beautiful place. The people here are so nice. Wilmington's kind of holding me back acting wise. So we might not be here forever. Um, but in the meantime, I really want to just kind of like spread my wings a little bit, get out a little bit and uh, see new places. So one goal I have is I wanna go to a new restaurant or a new coffee shop every single month, just one for the next 2024 for the next year, I wanna go to five different events in Wilmington. It can be like little pop-up shops, it could be like a theater production, it could be the comedy club, it can just be different events that are going on in Wilmington. There's like a Greek festival that happens, go to that, just like different events. I wanna go to five of those. And then I wanna host a party this year, bring my friends to my place. That is my wheel of life. Those are the goals that I personally have associated with each section. Let me know what your goals are and we can buy 
bond over them. There's also like different journal prompts that you can do. I keep mentioning the last video that I did, but literally like everything's in there for this video. So if you want more journal prompts, definitely go check that out. I'll give you guys a few here. One of them is your favorite self. So I'm my favorite self when I do this, this, and this. I just put like when I eat healthier, when I get up and have a morning routine, I feel like my favorite self. When I'm filming and acting like creating, that is a really big deal for me. I don't want to get into all of them just because like we'll be here all day. All right, so that is the journaling prompt portion. I have picked out my photos. I have really correlated them all with what I want and what I'm leaning towards with my wheel of life. And then also I did this really cute color scheme where I'm really into green right now. All the photos kind of correlate with greens or neutrals. I also, one thing I want you to do is I want you to pick a word for the year. My word for the year is create, which I feel like really resonates with what I want to do. So now we can finally get into the actual creation of your vision board. So not only am I doing like the printout version, which is what we are doing today in this video, but I also created a vision board for my phone. I did this in Canva. I'll do a tutorial on it if you guys want that. So if you'd like to see it, comment down below. All right, you guys, we got the glue gun. We have the scissors. We have our pictures as well as our board. Our Starbucks. This is the most essential part. We're going to use my little egg white container to put the glue gun on. So it looks like they come with little stickies you can just put on the back and then hang on the wall. Go ahead and cut these out. I'm not good at cutting in a straight line, so we're going to see how these turn out. cut out everything and now I'm trying to figure out the placement of how I want this to look. I feel like this is the hardest part <laughs> of like trying to get all of the pictures in but also you can see them but also like figure out which ones you kind of want to be filler photos and then the ones you really want to stand out. I'm in love with the color scheme. I think it looks so good. I was worried I didn't have enough photos or that they weren't going to be big enough. I actually have too many photos and they're kind of too big so it worked out because I can always just like cut them to be smaller. I'm trying to get a combination of green and tans. I don't want it to be too green, but not too bland. But let me show you what I have so far. But this is what it's looking like right now. I definitely want more words on it, but I'm trying to figure out like the underneath photos because I feel like the word photos should kind of look like this where they pop and you can read them. So I need like underneath ones, but I also like it's a lot of green, so I don't want to do too much. I might take this one out. I definitely want this one on there because it's the geography one. So that is the situation right now. I definitely want to put my little vlogging one on there somewhere, but I'm going to work with it a little bit more and I'll show you once I figure it out. You guys, oops, I did it. I love how it turned out. Let me show you. Oh my God, all, all ab work. So this is what I decided to do. Chose the ones that I liked the most, so I'm very happy with it. Here is what she looks like pre-glue. I feel like everything in the bottom is still like poking through and then all the quotes are sitting on top so you can see them really well. I just cut everything a little bit more to match and then I cut up this photo just to have create because that's the word of the year. One thing I definitely recommend to do is before you start gluing it down, take a picture of it. That way if things get like messed up, you don't forget what it looks like. All right, <sighs> let's get gluing. She is beauty. She is grace. I am so obsessed with her. Oh my God. Why am I getting emotional right now? <laughs> I love her. 
Oh my god. I think I'm just proud of myself for doing it, you know? Taking the time and investing it in myself. I love the way that it looks. I love the color scheme. I love what's on it. I love the messages of everything. And now I get to look at this beautiful masterpiece every single day and I'm so happy. So let me take you guys on a tour, vision board tour 2024 of just like what each thing means to me. So we will start top left. This picture is for my health. I am really good when it comes to to like exercising and things like that, but I do not have a good diet and I really wanna introduce some greens. I don't have that on like one of my goals for 2024, but it is still something I want to work on. The one right after, as well as the one right under, Chase and I are planning on moving next year. I'm not quite ready to share where we are moving to yet. So definitely subscribe for the moving vlogs and things that are going to be happening. For now, all I will say is we will not be in Wilmington anymore. So those two are just for the moving process. Um, okay, and then on the right, that is the Hollywood sign. Obviously, I am an actress and Hollywood is amazing. After that is 10K followers. I think we all know what that means. Originally, like I said earlier, it was 5K, but I couldn't find a picture of 5K. So I just did 10. Would love to reach 10K by the end of 2024. That would be amazing. Going back to the left side, we have on top, old energy is clearing, new energy is entering, great things are coming. On the right on top is a little map with the plane. That is for the geography. <laughs> which is a part of my goals of learning a little bit more about geography. So that's what that's about. Uh, also like, you know, traveling too, like it could be like a double use thing. After that, if you come to the left underneath everything is a book in some like white sheets with a hand reading. That's kind of like a reading journaling situation. After that, we have the heart and then we also have kind of like a really nice greenery location. That is more for like events and things like I said that I wanted to do this year. After that is a lady with waking up, the Sunday reset, getting into a nice routine in the mornings and in the afternoons. Um, if you go to the right again, this one is not on the goals, but I really need a new car. I'm driving my dad's car. It's a 1999 Ford Explorer. His name is Old Red. He gets me where I need to go. First of all, I would absolutely hug a car like that. Like that's my personality for sure. Go into the middle there, create. That is the word of the year. To the left, you have a very beautiful brunette woman with her fuzzy coat outside of a trailer. That's an acting trailer if you didn't know. So in my old vision board, I actually had a picture of a girl on set at a trailer because I've always wanted a trailer and I have been booked and I was supposed to have a trailer, but they didn't give me one. And I feel like I should have called my agent about it. So technically like I still haven't done it, but at the same time I have. So it's like this weird situation, but I have been booked and everything that involved me getting a trailer did happen. I just didn't get the trailer, which is showing that I have a lot of old negative energy that's not making my manifestations a reality. Like literally everything around it happened besides it. Like I want it to happen, you know what I mean? Also like involving getting a new agent and things like that. So that's acting related. Next up we have the camera. Obviously I want to gain 5K subscribers or 10K subscribers and I wanna vlog a lot more for you guys. I wanna make a video a week, which is what we talked about earlier. So that is why that is on there. Next one is a really, really pretty quote dream big, work hard, stay focused, and surround yourself with good people. And that's one thing I really have been trying to focus on for myself is like getting away from people who bring negativity into my life. Next up, we have this iconic lady. I don't even know who she is, but she is slaying the game. I love the outfit. I love how she's holding her phone. So that's something that like I would wear. <laughs> and it's just like cute and comfy clothes. So that's why that's on there. Next up is a cute couple that kind of gives you a little bit of a hint on where we are moving to, but that's supposed to be me and Chase in our new location. <gasps> anyway, the bottom left. This is another little health as well with green smoothies. That's just another healthy thing that I want to get into. Next up is a little charcuterie board. That's for I wanted to host my own event. Next up is another quote. It says lucky girl syndrome. I am so lucky everything works out for me. Last photo, it's kind of in the background here. It's a new restaurant. So one of my goals as we talked about is to go to a new coffee shop or restaurant uh, once a month. So that would be the new restaurant. It's so cute and aesthetic. I would love to go to a place like that. I think we have everything on what our goals are. So that is my vision board for 2024. I hope you create one with me. Ah! 
I love it so much. I also love the size. Like the size is honestly really nice. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and creating your vision board with me. I appreciate you watching. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Definitely don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it, found any kind of inspiration. Also don't forget to subscribe where we help me hit my 5K goal for the year. Anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.